What's up, nerds? We are your hosts. I am Jake. And I'm Chad. This week we are sponsored by Ray's Energy Drinks. We're also sponsored by Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. We will be talking about Marvel's Secret Invasion Season 1, Episode 3, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Then we'll also be talking about the first two episodes of uh, My Adventures with Superman, the anime, if you will, on Max. <laughs> so, uh, let's get into it. This is the All Things Nerd Podcast. Nerd. Welcome back, nerds, to the All Things Nerd Podcast, your weekly dive into all things nerd. Chadley, how's your week? Uh, my week itself was standard week, you know, work. Uh, it was nice. It was super short. Only worked a three-day week, which is pretty sweet. Um, hope everyone had a good 4th of July. Um, ooh, that shot's giving me heartburn. Ooh. <sighs> um, and then over the weekend, I had some friends come over, um, stayed with me for the weekend. Haven't seen them in a bit. Well, I guess I saw Steven last weekend. Um, <laughs> I picked him up from the airport. <laughs> But uh, Steven and Shalone came over because uh, we were supposed to have D&D &D this weekend, but that got pushed. Um, but they still came over. We hung out. It was great. Uh, very hungover. Very hungover. I drank a lot this weekend. Um, but it was fun. What about you? How was your week? Week's been pretty good. Um, shorter week, but I, st I had to work four days, unfortunately. But... Uh, it was good. We have uh, we have our baby shower uh, next weekend, yeah. uh, so we've been just getting a sh ton of shit done, and it's crunch time this week. So yeah, uh, other than you guys that, were, like, yeah, cleaning siding on your house last week. Yeah, right? Nicole's Nicole's <laughs> going a little, little overboard on the cleaning. Love her to death, and great, do it. Yeah. but you know, I mean, no one's inspecting our siding. Yeah, but sometimes you do <laughs> just have to clean it. But yeah, no, I know it's cute. <laughs> it's but yeah, cute. no, we're just we're doing a bunch of shit right now, getting ready for that. Um, other than that, not much really exciting has been going on. Right on, right on. Well, before we get into the actual substance of this episode, if uh, our listeners like what we're doing and want to support us. Uh, the best way to do it is to go to buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. Um, you get first looks at announcements, things to come, uh, member-exclusive merch. It's a monthly subscription. We have different tiers that you can do. Um, it's like coming. I get it. <laughs> um, yeah, so buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. Uh, there's tons of great perks that you can choose from as well. So head over there and give us your money, please. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Um, well, a couple just uh, side note things that we're not going to go crazy into with this episode, but uh, we want to mention them at least right now. Um, the mid-season finale of The Witcher. Yeah. What, what were your thoughts? I am not digging this season of The Witcher at all. I am trying really hard to separate it from the other two seasons. Yeah. Um, and it's it's helping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling quite a bit I've myself. I've been thinking uh, of it as just a live action D and D. Um, it's like what I wanted the D and D movie to be. <laughs> so there's there's that. Um, yeah. Yeah. At first, I mean, there's like no action in this episode. And they yeah, retell no. the same situation just from different persons. Yeah, it felt like it's a one of those, clue, one of those, you know, like, yeah, like a movie that shows the same scene, but through other people's perspective. So it's like four or five different storylines that all wrap around the same time frame. It's, yeah. 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 
you told me, which I got excited about. You were like, oh, there's a big cliffhanger. And, like, literally the cliffhanger is just somebody puts a knife to Geralt's throat. And I'm like, you no, get out of it's that. Just I was like, the, dumb. It's like a whodunit, and they got it wrong. Yeah. Uh, so then they try to react to it, and it's, like, too late. Yeah. That's what I meant by, like cliffhanger not the not that someone held a knife gotcha. to his throat it was just I that, was like that guy's gonna get his ass kicked yeah it was just that <laughs> like, they you know there was like the mystery of how they unraveled the answer gotcha. to stuff and then it turns out that they were wrong because they missed something you know and they gave uh is it Joskier or Hoskier uh Hoskier Hoskier gave him a I mean we saw it coming <laughs> uh, a little, a little love interest. It's that prince guy with the long blonde hair. Yeah, it's the yeah. king's brother of. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't have it in front of me. I, They're one, boning. One of the nations. Yeah. They're boning, but the problem is, well, he says that there's like a protection spell to keep, but it, Ciri safe. It ends at dawn. Yeah, and he's balls deep in this guy at the moment so yeah but when we last saw him it was like the middle of the night so yeah. you know he might have gone back but yeah. also with Yennefer and Geralt uh, being otherwise disposed <laughs> I just the worst <laughs> the worst, the worst. The Yennefer is my least favorite character in this show <laughs> <laughs> sorry Sorry, I'm not sorry. Yeah. I liked her more in the first two seasons. I Season two, I really liked her. Yeah. Season one, she was just a whiny little brat. Yeah. It made me so angry. Season two, she finally started coming around, and then she made, like, a sacrifice at the end of season two, and I was like, okay, she's all right. This season, she is an entitled little brat. Y- yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's not so whiny, she just thinks she's the fucking tits, and it's like... Which she's not even showing anymore. Like, <laughs> come al- on. I almost said that. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. We're funny, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other one, dude? Uh, the other one is the latest episode of Warrior. Episode Fout. Episode Fout. This show does not disappoint. I'm not kidding when I say between the three shows that I was excited about a few weeks ago when they started mm-hmm. was The Warrior, Secret Invasion, and The Witcher. The Warrior is by far the best out of the three. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's still a promise. Because, I mean, Secret Invasion, I, I am enjoying. I'm not saying, I'm not just... saying Secret Invasion is bad. I'm yeah, just saying I like Warrior, the Warrior is yeah, just so has, much, so much better. Yeah, it's I mean the so first weird. five minutes of the first episode is like, okay, yeah, and it really set the tone for the whole season so far. We're on episode four, and it really hasn't let off the gas much. No, as far as like action and like yeah, action is still all there, and now there's you know, kind of like a race against the clock and other shit going down. I I really like it. My, Assam's love interest is way hotter than his previous love interest the past two seasons. Love Sorry. interests. Because the first two seasons, he was just boning. Sorry. Yeah, but Getting there was, sticky, as but they there say was in the, the show. The blonde girl. Oh, yeah. She's a, the old mayor's wife. Yeah, that they had but committed, <laughs> committed, and we they made a mention of her in this last episode, or was it two episodes ago? But we two haven't seen ago, her, yeah. and I don't. I feel like she's not coming back. I, but she's good. They're yeah. setting up a new love interest for him, which I like way better. Yeah, she's way hotter. But she's also stealing from them, which means that there's going to be a, a conflict later. Um, yeah. and. My Ling overplayed her her hand. She thought she was being sneaky. Mm-hmm. And she honestly didn't do anything wrong, but, you know, the dude that made an advance on her, and she's like, 
nope. I respect your wife. Uh, and then he was like, she made a move on me. But, like, what's the guy's name? Her, like, right-hand guy. The big rival with Assam. Uh, I forget his name. He's Li- literally... Li Yang? Something like that. He's literally been telling her the whole time. He's like, dude, this is a bad idea. Like, blah, yeah. blah, blah. I can't like, be there to also help yeah. protect you. And then shit hit the fan, which is what I guess everyone probably knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. She's al- she's also very Lee Young. Like, sorry, not Lee Yang. Lee Young. She's also kind of annoying. Myling, I like her character, but oh, she's a little. She's just uh, very cocky. Mm-hmm, um, exactly. That's that's the perfect word for it. I was trying to think of something that wouldn't sound like sexist or something like that, and I. Yeah. That's perfect. She's cocky as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And Arrog- it's gonna bite Arrogan, her in the ass. Yeah. It already has. Yeah, in this it's episode. starting yeah. to. Yeah. But this show is fucking incredible. Mm-hmm. I'm so ready for more of it. Mm-hmm. And that's also oh. on Max. Yep. And also, new streaming service, Doug. I'm just kidding. Because it, oh. now it just sounds like a dog's name. And then I went to the dog from... It was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. I just didn't get it. I would have laughed. I'll, I'll just go fuck myself. Uh, super cool. <laughs> Tell us about sponsor number one so we can get into the meat of this episode. Plant-based meat, thank you. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, so we're sponsored by Ray's Energy Drinks. Uh, we've been talking about it for years now. Still a great energy drink with zero calories, zero sugar, and zero crash. Um, and if that's not your thing, they have so much more to choose from, including some plant-based protein supplements and stuff like that, which is awesome. Um, listen up, learn how to save 15%, and we'll be right back with you to talk about my adventures with Superman. Like, Chad's adventures with Superman. Mine. My specific ones. My. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, nerds? I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about Ray's Energy, an incredible energy drink that provides max energy with zero crash. Ray's Energy takes a giant leap of faith with instilling a high-quality formula to bring a powerful yet sustained energetic experience to help you push your workouts and focus to the next level. Perfect for anyone at any time and powered by their refresh formula technology, Ray's Energy delivers a performance enhancing energy drink that aids in multiple different categories that include targeted focus, better recovery time, improved clean energy levels, and a boost in stamina and hydration. But most importantly, Every can of Ray's Energy has absolutely zero calories, zero sugar, and zero carbohydrates to give you a smarter and healthier option. So don't settle for an energy drink that contains more sugar and carbohydrates than you can count. Instead, head over to repsports.com. That's R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and use the promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout for 15% off your order. Or if you don't know what you want, go ahead and click the link that's in the description to get a $50 sample pack for free. All you do is you cover the cost of shipping. Again, make sure you use promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout to let them know that we sent you. Okay, friends. uh, Now, there's a new show out on Max, formerly known as HBO Max, uh, called My Adventures with Superman. It's an animated in the style of anime um, Superman show so the the first two episodes dropped and spoiler alert if you haven't seen it but go watch it, it's fun Um, definitely not what I was expecting it's about what I expected is it? I I was hoping for a darker thing like we were talking about but it's for like an anime thing it's about what I was thinking it was going to be yeah okay yeah it's it's fun it's light hearted you know it's I was expecting just because it's been very popular uh, <clears throat> recently for bigger streaming services to you know in the style of anime have something that's mm-hmm. a little bit more violent 
bloody invincible vulgar yeah invincible legends of vox machina yeah. like that so that's what i was expecting but this that is that would have been fucking amazing yeah but also yeah. you know jack quaid you know he's in the boys you know mm-hmm. i that's just what i was expecting um jack quaid voices superman aka yes. clark kent aka, AKA kal Kal-El. Kal-El. aka the man of steel AKA. <laughs> AKA. AKA. Also known, also known as? Winnie the Bish. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a little upset that I did not see that. That's where you were going with that. Uh, <laughs> but also, I'm glad because that surprised me and it made me happy. <laughs> uh, they're short episodes, they're 30 minutes long. Um, but yeah, long. ladies. No, that's like <laughs> that's nothing. like average. Average. <laughs> I thought I thought it was but, fun. Yeah. Uh, it was a little more lighthearted than I was kind of hoping for, but yeah. it is about what I expected it to be. It was cool. I really like. Um, <laughs> I really like. Uh, jor uh depiction. Did I say that word right? No. Depiction? No? Depiction. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I really like jor depiction. Uh, I thought he was... It was like a dark, gritty, like, long-haired, like, badass. Not... Which is cool. Like, in every iteration of Superman, or well, in the comics at least, uh, jor is like a scientist. He's not a warrior... He's not, mm-hmm. you know, he's not like a badass. Um, and in this depiction, oh. depiction, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is very much. He's got like a scar over his eye. He's like, he looks like a badass. The only thing that kind of weirded me out with it is when they show him. It very much looked like he was flying, and on Krypton, Kryptonians don't have superpowers. So I thought that was weird. Right, because, well, it's because their son was dying and it was a red sun, right? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. But it looked like he had, like, his, you know, like he had just been, like, he was a damsel who just kissed her hero. Like, he was, like, floating with, like, one leg up. Yeah. And, like, his cape, he was wearing a cape, which was, like, flapping in the wind. and Yeah. And, like, in the comics and stuff, Jarrell doesn't even wear a cape. Yeah. So, yeah. And he doesn't fly because they don't have powers on Krypton. But yeah. we'll see. I don't know. I could be wrong. We'll see how where they're going with it. Because he hasn't really gone into the whole jor thing. He did a little bit in episode two, but not yeah. enough. To... One thing that I thought that was really cool was obviously like jor is speaking Kryptonian. Yes. Dude, um, I thought that was cool too. And Clark is like, what the fuck are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. I don't understand. It's like, how would he? Yeah. You know? That's that's something that I really, and I, you guys who have been watching the show know that I'm a huge Smallville fan. That's one of the things I loved about Smallville is that Clark couldn't read or understand Kryptonian until he got fucking zapped by the fucking cave wall or whatever. Yeah. Or the yeah. Then he was he's like I, for some reason after I put the key in the wall I can understand it, like yeah. that was the same thing. So hopefully there's like a a point in time in this show, uh, this show that we're watching now, where he will understand it, but not through like studying and like I gotta learn how to read. The, you know what I mean? It'll be yeah. Because sure also be like how like, would he learn how to do yeah. that? There's no exactly. references known to teach him. Um, exactly. Yeah, it's it's cool. Um, also, I can't. They're like setting up the Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. Or, at least, uh, Task Force X. Um, which is you know, yeah. whatever. Um, I think the I think the big takeaway from the two episodes that we watched it's kind of an origin you know we kind of see 
clips of him as a kid and discovering his powers, which is, you know, been done over and over again. But which I'm so I'm glad that they're not like starting there. Starting you there, know, it's like flashbacks. But he doesn't. He's not Superman until episode two. Right. So like episode one, he's just Clark Kent from Smallville that has superpowers. He's mm-hmm. not Superman. So it is kind of, but they moved yeah. it along pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, they kind of have to with 30 minute episodes, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm glad they did. Cause I don't want to see a origin story. Yeah. Of someone that we've seen origin story over and over and over and over and over yeah. again. So every time they reboot, you know, you get a new origin story. Yeah. Um, and I think that DC is at least uh, taking note on the Batman not being an origin story mm-hmm. um, when they when Marvel rebooted uh, Spider-Man. You know, in the MCU, it didn't mm-hmm. start with you know he was already Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, we know the story. What do you get? What do you get? This Spider Guy, Spider-Man. Not that onesie. You're not. It's not a onesie. <laughs> but I mean the the show is fun. It's it's lighthearted. I'm excited to keep watching it. It just too, wasn't yeah. what I expected it to be. And I'm still not a hundred percent sold on if I love it or not. Yeah. But same. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh you mentioned the first time that Superman gets a suit. In, Sailor Moon. Yeah, in true anime fashion. Yeah. There's a yeah, suit-up like, scene yeah. with lights and twirling. Yeah, <laughs> and the cape just, like, appears. Yeah. The, co- the whole costume just appears, re- really. Yeah, it's, like, in a light-up thing in his chest. That's probably the... <laughs> There's proof that Tony Stark has a heart back there. Not with that being dead. But yeah. if you can see this, it's because it's not lit up. So don't. Uh. It's a tap light. Lame. Just kidding. Um, bought it on Wish. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fucking cool. I actually am. And very I did buy it on Wish. Thing. I'm not lying about that. No, I know. You told me. <laughs> I think it's fucking cool. But yeah, it's fun. Uh, go check it out. Uh, hopefully it'll get better and maybe a little darker. You know, if you're going to be on HBO, come on. Well, I mean, he did get, which was weird, he got, like, beaten and bloodied in the first episode. Mm-hmm. And then he, like, summoned his power and well, then, like, say- magically healed very quickly. I was going to say, when he gets, uh, when he's younger, he doesn't develop his full potential until, like, you know, mm-hmm. he's got to go through stages of whatever, but, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. watched Smallville. Check it out. It's <laughs> good. It is. Uh, hopefully it'll get better. I want to see, good. like, bigger, better bad guys, but it's only episode two, so I'm not expecting Doomsday yeah. in season one, episode two, so, yeah, you know. I want to see some... I do. I have high hopes for this show. I have high hopes for anything Superman. Yeah. So. <laughs> Why is I that, Jake? I like Superman. It's my favorite. Oh. Uh, I didn't know because the Smallville, Smallville, and sketch of Superman. <laughs> and the fact that I named my kid Cal. Cal? Yeah. After Superman. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay well <laughs> we're going to talk about sponsor 2 we're going to move on from this and go into sponsor 2 do I, you agree? yeah okay I didn't know if you had more to talk about but okay alright sponsor number 2 is Crybaby Craig's hot sauce it's a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes on practically anything listen up and we'll tell you more about it hey you nerds do you love spice? Supporting small businesses? What about enhancing the flavor of your favorite foods? If you said yes to any of those, 
our good friends over at Crybaby Craig's have the perfect solution for you. Crybaby Craig's is a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes perfectly with your favorite foods, adding the perfect amount of spice and enhancing the flavor of everything it touches. Started in Minneapolis by Craig back in 2012, Crybaby Craig's has become a Minneapolis and Minnesota staple in the sauce world. So head over to crybabycraigs.com and order yours today. Okay, friends, we are going to talk about episode four, three, four. It's literally in the notes. It's three. <laughs> We're going to talk about episode three of Secret Invasion. <laughs> now Uh-oh. streaming on Disney+. Plus. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it yet, uh, check out, check back in. Um, this show is getting increasingly better. A little bit of a slow start. Well, the first uh, episode was dope. The second one was very slow. Yeah. How many episodes is this? Do we remember? Do you remember? By we, do I mean you? I think nine? Didn't mean to phrase that as a question. <laughs> By we, I mean you. Do you remember? Stay classy, San Francisco? It's going to be eight to ten episodes. <laughs> or in the middle of that, which Chad said nine. Or... <laughs> or it might be less than that. We don't know. I'm um, looking it up right now to see what's... Uh, but tell them that joke, you know. Yeah. Continue on. The show is getting... Six. How many? How many? Six. Six? Son of a bitch. Yeah, we're halfway, That's annoying. We're halfway through. and They better wrap that shit up. I hope. <laughs> uh, it is good, but... I thought we had way more than that. <laughs> so and they're I. not and they're not I guess they are long episodes. Yeah, they're like but, fifty minutes. Mm-hmm. Six is just such a whatever. It's very good. Um We think that Rhodey is a scroll. Yeah, it's kinda leaning that way that Rhodey has been body snatched. Uh huh. I'm just feeling dead air right here because now, clearly sorry. your dog did something that like distracted now, you. Now she's she's not in that weird Emily Rose position anymore, but she is <laughs> snoring very loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. If anybody has seen the movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose, when she's all like fucked up and like punched up on the ground that's very much how my dog was sleeping a minute ago and was sleeping like that for at least 15 20 minutes yeah she's in a very cute sleeping position now but she's snoring obnoxiously loud <laughs> <laughs> that's why i was like what the hell i looked over at her and now she's all like curled up but she's just like <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. anyways <laughs> Big stuff happened in this episode. Yeah. Um and Talos stabs Gravix in the hand during their their meet up, their confrontation, whatever. Um and as Gravix heals, it glows orange, kinda like the Extremis. Looks uh, exactly like Extremis. Yeah, for those that are unaware or have completely forgotten about that story plot line because they didn't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. either. Um, That would be the Iron Man 3 uh, stuff. Like It was like the drug that they were giving like soldiers. Yeah, to uh, to try and make make super soldiers. Yeah, but they were not doing well. Yeah, it was never perfected. Yeah, so sometimes they would just blow up. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it looks like the maybe, and, and this is just a theory, but maybe the scrolls have perfect because their intellect is better and technology is better than And their humans. DNA is different. Yeah, so it looks like they maybe perfected Extremis uh, because Talos does stab uh, Gravix in the hand, and Gravix 
doesn't even pull the knife out, just like pulls his hand out of the knife, like mm-hmm. slicing his hand open, and like does that, and it's the orange, like it looks like extremis, just heals it. Like Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it's gotta be what it is. And it ties into cause we see that he has like a weird ass machine. It almost yeah. to me it almost looked like the quantum tunnel uh from Endgame. Mm-hmm. With you know the lights around it and all that. Is a minivan? Uh, not that one. Uh, I'm just giving you shit. I'm giving you shit. I know. Um, and not the the big one that all of them stand on, but like the one, you know, it the fills, original fills one. a small room. Yeah. Um, and he's even talking to like the other scrolls that kind of like fill their their high council mm-hmm. um, about making super scrolls. Which is from the comics. Mm-hmm. The only thing that differs, or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. We haven't seen that far. But in the comics, the Super Scrolls come from the Fantastic Four. But that makes sense because the Fantastic Four is coming. There's rumor, because uh, there's like a test photo uh, of Doctor Doom and someone standing with their back turned. But the way that they're dressed looks I saw a that lot too. like Gravix. It looks like Gravix. I would fucking shit my pants if they introduced Doctor Doom in this show. Yeah. They've been hinting at him. I mean, yeah. uh, in Moon Knight with Moon the, Knight, the cupcakes. Yep. The cupcakes and the island that they were on. Yeah. Yeah. I forget the name of it because it's been like a year. But Well, I don't think yeah. it was an island. I just think it was just like a mountain town. Um, well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're but, right. You're right. It was that. And yeah, there's yeah. rumors as to how they could do it because, like, the whole Sokovia being mm-hmm. demolished. Um, and then. And we know that the Fantastic Four does exist, but right now they are the lost astronauts from. Uh, oh, God. Was it. Sword. Uh, no, what, what uh, movie Wanda, was it? WandaVision. WandaVision. Yeah. That they lost a group of astronauts in space during the blip, mm-hmm. which would be the Fantastic Four, I would imagine. Yeah, uh, that hasn't been yeah. confirmed, but that theory makes sense. Yeah. Um. I would fucking lose my mind. I don't. Here's the thing: if they do show Doctor Doom in this show, I don't want them to show who is playing him yet. I don't either. Just suit it up. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. That would be dope. Oh. That might... Now I'm going to just... go on like... A, I, I'm not going to, but like I'm like, ooh, I want to go on a nerd rant now <laughs> about it. But... Go for it. We got the time. <laughs> <laughs> well... We don't have a lot prepared this week, in case you guys didn't like, know. Who do we... Who do you want to play Doctor Doom? Rapid fire. Go. Uh, I have really come to enjoy the the fan casting of Killian Murphy. I think he's a fantastic actor. I think he can do it brilliantly. We know that he can be super intimidating behind a mask from, you know, The Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Um, it kind of depends on the age that we want him also, you know? Yeah. Man, I asked that question without even asking myself that question. (laughs) Because the only thing with Killian Murphy is that he doesn't have... I want Doctor Doom in... At least the way I imagine it and the way it's been portrayed so far. You got to have like a deep, menacing voice. I mean, Doctor Doom in the comics just killed Thanos in like two seconds. Yeah. Like... I want somebody with, like, a... I mean, I, I don't know if I would want the... Per, voice voice casting-wise, Liam Neeson comes to mind. But that would I want, Lea, where, would I want Liam Neeson in the costume, like, with, with the mask off? Probably not. He's a little old for that. Yeah. Um. Fuck, I don't know. That's tough, dude. <laughs> yeah. I asked you a tough question that I didn't have an answer for. <laughs> that was a bad move as a podcaster (laughs) (laughs) yeah it wasn't great (laughs) I'm trying to think of like an obscure 
actor that's not super famous that has the voice work to pull something like that off and I am just oof I don't know I mean I don't think that this person would actually do it uh, <clears throat> like as a non voice actor you know actually like being in the suit but uh, Matthew Mercer is an incredible uh, like voice actor and could definitely do that menacing type of voice but so if you're going just voices that's one thing but eventually you they're gonna to see, the mask yeah. is gonna come that's, off and you're gonna... that's kind of why I where I was going with that is one I don't think he would do it and two I don't think it would work Tom Hardy it doesn't matter who we are. All that matters is that they won. No? Perhaps he was wondering why you'd shoot a man before throwing him from a plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, that a would very be good. bad, but my best uh, yeah. Bane impression. Bane. Let's see it. Let's go. Come on. This is practice for your. Uh, oh, for the, no. Uh, I know I definitely cannot do that. Yeah, Bill. Come on. You got to do voices for the. I the, know. Uh, come on. Give us your Bane. Oh. Just do the. It doesn't matter who we are. Just. It doesn't matter who we are. Oh, that's better than mine. You thought so? Yeah. I felt deeper, very, yeah. I felt very self conscious about that. That was good. No, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah! I really don't know. Let me let me simmer on it. I'm gonna think. Okay. Of, I'm gonna keep thinking about who I want to be the face of Doctor Doom, and the voice because I don't want a Star Wars thing where it's like the voice is James Earl Jones, but the face is somebody else. Like yeah. let's let's do a let's do a one person. Um, but let me think on it. So, um. More shit happened in this episode that we haven't talked about yet because we're yeah. just <laughs> fucking all over the place. But we took one theory and ran with it. Um, a, another thing that happened was Gaia was kind of found out as being kind of like a double agent, like you know, helping her dad and stuff like that. And then Gravix shoots her. And we we know that when a scroll dies, they return to their normal scroll mm -hmm. body. And but she changed very quickly uh, and you when can, she hit and the they ground. They can change on on command. Yeah, command. Yeah. So is she dead? I don't think she is. I I really don't. I think that she did that yeah. just to. It'd be weird to kill her off in the halfway through the. Halfway through the season. Yeah, especially because, yeah. like, we know it. But Marvel's also very good at doing this of, you know, in their trailers and stuff like that, you know, they use some test footage or, you know, stuff to keep you guessing as to whether, you know, something is there or not or removing someone or to someone's looking at you Spider-Man No Way Home and then seeing a lizard get kicked by air um, <laughs> but I mean th they have been known to do that just like with Infinity War having the Hulk run but it's actually the Hulk Buster um, you know stuff like that you know it's they're known for that but I do still think that them killing off Gaia especially with bringing in someone as big as Amelia Clark is mm. um, to just like get rid of her that quickly you know yeah. so I think that she was just basically covering her ass so that then she can get out and heal mm. um, and stuff like that yeah, you, I, got, you, I got a good one you got, got a, good a good one, one. for a Dr. Do. Doom okay let's hear it uh and, it, and I, it's maybe not. I don't know if it's my own fear, my own uh, 
maybe I read it somewhere or saw it somewhere, but it just clicked to me. Uh, the Esposito, the guy from uh, um, fucking Breaking Bad that owns the Chicken Polos place. Oh, Poyos Locos? Uh, dude. Giancarlo Esposito? Giancarlo. Yeah. yeah, that dude's got a menacing fucking voice. He would be a good age for a Doctor Doom. And, uh, yeah, I would also like to see a uh, person. I would like to see a person <laughs> of, uh, I would like to see a person of color in that That's role, what. That's I think. where yeah. I was trying to, to think in that. Yeah just like there wasn't like a particular voice i think his voice he's got a very menacing voice i he, think that would he be does it but it depends on how long you know you want that person in the role or how long you want dr doom to be around yeah the only so, so with the, the only reason i say that is because they i don't like how they did the first fantastic four or the second fantastic four where they made Doctor Doom the same age as the Fantastic Four because he's not, he's older. Oh, is he's, he? Is, See, yeah, I did not know he's that. a yeah, he's more like a Tony Stark kind of age. Yeah, as where like the Fantastic Four are like very young, like astronauts. Yeah, that get like yeah. Um, so I think he would do a really good job at that, and he just plays a bad guy so well, well. in in the fan four stick, um, because that's how it's written out, um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, is he's just like a couple years older than them? Yeah. And then obviously in the original one, like yeah, him and Reed Richards are the exact same age. Yeah, and Reed Richards is older. Yeah, yeah. And also, we did hear because I don't think we talked about it last week. Margot Robbie and Adam Driver both declined the offers mm-hmm. uh, to be Reed Richards and Sue Storm. Yeah. Um, Margot Robbie, I'm okay with... Like, I like her. I think that she could do it. But I'm okay with the fact that she declined it. I am sad I th- that Adam Driver said no. But, but... He could do Doctor Doom. He does have that dark ominous tone (laughs) (laughs) he could I would totally be okay with that Um, I'm actually okay with uh, I liked Adam Driver for the role when I heard about it Mm -hmm. but I'm actually okay with him not doing it because when I picture Reed Richards from like comic books he's got the like you know like not slicked back but he's got like the haircut that goes back he's got the gray on the sides and i just don't see that for adam driver yeah also reed richards isn't a big guy and adam driver is a pretty big guy yeah he's and so i don't tall know how and he... muscular <laughs> yeah so i just don't i would much more like him as a dr doom than a reed richards uh, again, I wasn't upset about him as Reed Richards, if that was going to be the, you know, but I just, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's who. I know that you're not a fan of the guy, I don't even have his name pulled up, but the guy from You that plays Joe in Oh, in he's got a weird name. I forget it. Uh, I know who you're talking he about. He was also, though. you know, the <laughs> gossip girl. Mm-hmm. Oh. Never watched it, but I did hear that he was the one that was... Uh, Penn Badgley. Penn Badgley, yeah. That's a weird but... He... Badge one... Penley. <laughs> <laughs> one, he kind of has the look. You would just have to do like the, the gray streaks. But he's very good at being... Very well knowing that he's the most intelligent person in the room. And being very narcissistic about it. I wouldn't hate it. And I also very much want, like, a non, like, star-studded, like, cast. Yeah. You know, I don't want it. I don't want to see Brad Pitt. I love Brad Pitt. Don't get me wrong. 
But I don't want to see Brad Pitt like or like I someone like that. I love like, a lot of movies that Brad Pitt is in. I don't. We've had this conversation. Yeah, I don't think we've had it on the podcast though. He's not a very good actor. <laughs> Have you seen Dave? You haven't watched Dave yet. No, is he in Dave? He's in the last season, and it's fucking Fuck hilarious. Yes. He gets he gets stuck, so he wants to. Does he play himself? Go- he plays himself. Hell yeah. And he, because uh, he's in a music video for one of Dave's music videos. Oh. And he's like, hey, man, I'd like to break into this scene. Like, could you help me out? And Dave's like, yeah, come by my house. And he's like, I bet. And uh, Dave's got, like, this super fan that, like, comes over and she, like, won't leave. He's <laughs> like, hey, like, Brad Pitt's here. Like, you got to you gotta go I'm hearing what you're saying and she pulls a gun out and she's like no and so then him and Brad Pitt get like taken hostage (laughs) at at his own house (laughs) yeah and they like him and Brad Pitt are like trying to figure out like how do we like take this chick down and Dave is like I'm not I'm not doing that and Brad Pitt's like dude you gotta fucking you gotta fucking take her out what are you talking like get her you know, like, it's very funny. It's very funny. It's very <laughs> climatic. There's, like, a huge, like, showdown. It's very funny. You got to I know you haven't started yet. You watched, like, an episode or two at my house. Yeah. But you got to watch that show, dude. I got to go so back and, fucking funny. yeah, start it. Uh, <laughs> We're I, I, way off topic. I will once I get through the bear. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More on that Do to that. come. Um, <laughs> so, let's, uh, of those bullet points let's do the last one before we get into the second one or the one right above it about fury's wife oh is it his wife or yeah because he puts the ring back on before he goes in the door uh at the end of yeah episode two uh but she's a scroll i don't remember her name i'm sorry um but uh she's Throughout the episode, you know, she's like, well, Gravix is making a good point. You know, like, saying this, and he's like, are you, do you support him? Are you with him? And she's like, I'm married to you. Which was a non-answer, really. Yeah. But for some reason, the greatest double spy in the the world, Nick Fury, is like, yeah, that checks out. Uh, And doesn't question it. Well, she mentions that, like, you were gone. He got blipped. Yeah. So she was like, you were gone for five years. Like, I did what I thought I needed to do or what I thought was right and blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, so are you with him? And she was like, no, I'm married to you. Yeah, I'm your wife. Yeah. And he's but like, then. He's like, okay, bet. Um, and <laughs> then he eats himself. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> we're just using a lot of Gen Z uh, hot words, so I thought I'd continue on. Um, but then uh, we see her go to like a security lockbox, like you know, in a high end bank, whatever. All that's in there's a gun, and then she gets a phone call, and there's a voice being like, Gravix wants to talk to you, or you know, this is from Gravix. And whose voice is it? Because that's why I wanted to go I, in this order. Because I then don't it, uh, like, I this is my theory and what I think. But it sounded like it was Rhodey to me. Mm-hmm. Um, which checks out because we have both been saying that Rhodey is a scroll yeah. right now. Because his entire demeanor towards Nick Fury and stuff like that is so different than then, yeah. how we've seen Rhodey portrayed in the past. Especially, mm-hmm. you know, Age of Ultron, you know, he goes with Fury to Sokovia to do the rescue mission. And mm-hmm. now he's very just like hostile towards him. Yeah. And shit like that. So I also read, I don't know if it's true, so this is just a fan theory, but that we are gonna get in the next couple episodes, we're gonna get multiple uh very big uh superhero cameos. I would imagine one of them would be Carol Danvers. Just because of the relationship between... And then it kind of leads into the Marvels. Yeah. 
as well. Um, and maybe RDJ. I would fucking jizz in my pants. There's just been rumors that he he's going to have a cameo I, somewhere coming up. Well, they saw him on the set of New World Order. That's what it was. Yeah. Or, well, now it's Brave New World. But Brave New World, my bad, yeah, sorry. Both yes. of them are very uh, Final Solution-y uh, in their name. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that would make sense also because, yes, the writers for the show were told, don't read the Secret Invasion comic books uh, for inspiration because it... But that's a huge part of it is that a lot of <clears throat> the Avengers and heroes were replaced by scrolls. I don't think that we'll get a RDJ cameo. I think what will happen in... I, I just remember reading that he was seen on set, but I couldn't remember what it was. So I was like, RDJ. But I bet you, for whatever he's on set for, is going to be a like, a, like a hologram or Ooh. a flashback or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like a tech thing. It's not going to be... He's dead. Yeah. And well, yeah, he, he is, is, he yeah. is dead. That's and uh, he has said that... I mean, he's been, he's been very Chris Evans about it. Like, would I come back? Sure. But it would have to be, the, like, the perfect script yeah. to make it make sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I, I personally, I don't think I want to see... I loved Downey. He kicked the whole thing off, and I think they ended it with a beautiful bow on it and everything, and I don't think I want to see him come back uh, in person. Maybe. I, I, I'm i really tied to the idea of seeing Tom Cruise as a variant, variant of yeah. uh, Tony Stark. I don't think I want to see... Downey's my, one, probably my favorite actor of all time before he played um, Iron Man. Iron Man. And... Uh, I just I love everything he does, but I don't think even do it little. takes it just takes away from the impact that those deaths make in yeah. those movies if you're just gonna bring them back. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like no, I I fully agree with you on that. Um, so like flashbacks, a hundred percent. You know, or like you said, because it also makes sense uh, for Ironheart coming out that you know like an AI projection sort of thing because mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. goes with Ironheart <laughs> and um, she's supposed to be in maybe I mean she's supposed to be in the Iron War Iron Armor Wars Armor Wars sorry yeah. Fuck. Armor Wars with you know Don Cheadle and I think what's his face Paul Bettany isn't he supposed to come back for Armor Wars? I oh, think. I don't know about Armor Wars, but I know that they're working on a Vision Quest. Oh, that's right. That's which what is going to lead to either yeah. the young... I, th By the sounds of how everything is going, I think that they're going to blend like the West Coast Avengers and the, the young Avengers kind of into one thing. Mm. Um, but, supposedly, at the end of the Marvels in one of the cutscenes, it's kind of been leaked, but it's not confirmed yet uh is it's going to be uh kamala khan talking to i read that yeah uh, kate bishop about finding cassie lang which yeah. san francisco west coast avengers young avengers kind of mixed um i know you don't she's just more of the same of the shit that you hated uh from supernatural <laughs> Not a fan of that actress. Yeah. I just don't. But, I don't know why they didn't keep the the girl from Endgame. Like why? She looked. She's like a. She foot looked tall. more like uh, yeah. the younger girl that was playing Cassie. Yeah. You know it. It was a little bit more believable, but you know. Who knows why? Um. We really got off topic from Secret Invasion, but that's what we do. Yeah. That's what this podcast is about, just talking shit about nerdy shit. 
We have a script, but we don't have to stick to it. Well, it's... Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Nice. Uh, Nice. (laughs) (laughs) It's more of a loose outline. I mean, literally under each thing, it just says wing it, and then we have a couple of bullet points after that, let's be honest. Uh, It's not a script. But do you have anything else that you want to say about no, Secret Invasion? No, we can close okay, out. cool. Yeah, let's uh, then go ahead and close out this episode. Uh, but before we do, we are going to talk about our honorable mentions. Chad, what do you got? So the the it's not even that big one because it's been popular for a while. But uh, I started watching The Bear finally um, because. You told me that it's fucking fantastic, so uh, I started watching it. I'm only a couple episodes in, but I'm really digging it. Uh, And then, through completely legal means and not piracy, um, started watching, or not started watching, rewatched Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh, you did too? Okay. Yeah. Yep, I uh, turned on the lights on my TV... And it was incredible. Loved it just as much. Because you also... Well, you showed, you sent me a snap showing that you were watching. I was like, oh, that means I can go watch it. So I did that same night. <laughs> and one thing... I mean, in the theaters, it was one of those same like moments where I teared up. But I noticed something when Lila gets shot and dies Mm -hmm. is and then floor you know the rabbit starts freaking out and i remember in the theater you know being like yeah she's like let's we go now we go now and then i realized when i rewatched that she says all their names but doesn't say lila's name because she's like Mm -hmm. she's dead Mm -hmm. rocket teeth's floor go now rocket teeth's floor go now and I cried again. (laughs) (laughs) But, like, for a different reason. Uh, Yeah, it was pretty fucking great. I did not cry the second time around. But... I cried harder because I wasn't in public, so I just, like, let it happen. (laughs) Also, when we go to movies together in theaters, like, I usually am wearing my glasses because I don't have good eyesight. At Mm. home, I'm like... It's good enough. (laughs) (laughs) And no one was around, so I didn't have to, like, wipe from my glasses or anything like that. I was just like... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's sad. It was still very sad. I just didn't let loose on that one uh, the second time around. Probably because I knew it was was happening, you know? Yeah. And I was just like... But when we watched it in theaters, I was like... (laughs) Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Look how bad I'm coughing, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. You man, know, I yeah. coughed so hard my eyes watered. That's weird. <laughs> exactly. I was just choking on popcorn kernel that stuck in my throat. Uh, and eyes and heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was, uh, I think, because I knew it was. I knew like what what was gonna happen, but I had mentioned to you before I was like, "Oh, it's available to watch," and I was like, "I don't think I'm emotionally ready to watch it again." <laughs> and Nicole was like, "Yeah, let's watch it," and I was like, "Shit, <laughs> shit, 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 shit." <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, nothing to do with anything, but uh, the new season of What We Do in the Shadows comes on the 14th. Oh, like comes? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I only thought of that because when I say shit, shit, I say it like Nandor. Yeah, you picture it. Shit. Shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Besides rewatching Guardians uh, three and uh, getting distracted by what we do in the shadows, what did you have for honorable mentions? Uh, 
what my honorable mentions were. So I watched um, Midnight Mass. I'm a little late to the party on that one, but I'm uh, later because ne- I didn't even hear about this until you told me about it today. <laughs> it's, it's on Netflix. It was okay. It's fun. It's a one-off season, so if like you just don't know what to watch, go ahead and watch it. I won't tell you what it's about. It's got like a creepy aspect to it. Uh, it's it was. I enjoyed it. I'll Would I watch, watch it, it again? It's not like Game of Thrones where I'm gonna like watch it again. But yeah. it was fun. I'd check it out. Um Fuck, what was my other one? The Grey oh, Man. Oh I wa- I watched The Grey Man again today. Yeah. Um I love that movie. And I and I really liked it the second time around because I picked up more on rather than being like bedazzled by the action sequences in that movie because mm-hmm. it's non stop action. Yeah, I really picked up on a lot of the funny stuff between Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans, and I enjoyed it a lot more this time around. Yeah, it's kind of in the lines of John Wick with just like go go go. Yeah, you know from start. There's to like there's like really not a sequence in this movie where there's not some fucking craziness happening. Yeah, and, you're just, and it's unrealistic. I mean. There was like a part in there where like he jumps off of a crashing like subway like tram or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. And lands on the hood of uh Ana de Armas's car and I was like Yeah, okay, Fast and Furious. So, like you know <laughs> So there was like a lot of dumb shit like I that, see you, John Cena, like, despite oh. what you tell people. <laughs> a lot of a lot of over the top action sequences, but uh it that movie is fucking kick ass, man. I and there is a second one coming. I'm really excited about that. Fuck and I'm yeah. curious who the bad guy is gonna be because Chris Evans nailed the bad guy so bad yeah. in this movie. Uh, in a good way. I'd, I said bad, but I meant like nailed it in like a good way. Uh yeah. so I'm curious who they're gonna bring in for bad guy number two. Like who's yeah. gonna play it better than Evans did it, you know what I mean? Like What would be just a giant fuck you. And I don't think that this particular... Downey? No, I was going to say Anthony oh. Mackie. <laughs> Anthony Mackie. <laughs> just because he took over the Captain America role. Just to then let that him That would do... be really funny. Like, that would that be... Would really be funny. I'd be, be okay with that. so meta. <laughs> I mean, I love Anthony Mackie. I think he's great. Yeah. Um, it would just be so... It would be such a meta moment of like, oh, who are we going to use to replace this villain oh i know it's been done before let's take anthony mackie i would also like to see a um i want to see a actual like showdown in the end of the not season two movie number two because basic chris evans kicks the shit out of ryan gosling in this movie Mm -hmm. at the end and like Gosling's gonna lose, and it's uh, Jennifer Henwick. You'll uh, lose. Sh- sh- <laughs> You'll lose. Uh, <laughs> she basically shows up and shoots uh, Chris Evans in the chest. Yeah. So like, it had the fight kept going. Gosling was gonna get his ass kicked. Yeah. Um. So I would like to see like that played out again, but without the help of somebody else. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I already talked to you about it. Yeah, well, we I, won't go in. I'm it, gonna but... probably rewatch that tonight <laughs> yeah. because I forgot how much I really enjoyed that movie. There's so many funny moments <laughs> in it that I didn't pick up on the first time around because, like I said, you're kind of bedazzled by the the action sequences. You don't yeah. really catch the funny stuff, but like rewatching it, I was like, "That's that's really funny." Yeah, that's really funny. And uh, so, yeah. That's so funny. I encourage you, if you have seen it, rewatch it. <laughs> All right. On that note, uh, <laughs> Jake, uh, for our beloved listeners that like what we're doing, what should they do? Um, Give us your money. No, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry uh, you did not phrase that as a question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is give us your money? A Jeopardy joke. Sorry. Oh, 
Uh, what is give us your money? No, I know. I'm sorry. I killed that entire momentum. <laughs> it's a good thing that I have a toaster sitting on the shelf in my bathroom. Uh, <laughs> I gave it to you. I remember. <laughs> I know you did. I <laughs> loved it. It would have been funnier if you bought me an actual toaster. <laughs> No, yeah, no, I because I would have for, still put it on <laughs> that shelf because I don't. For anybody use wondering a why, I, it's not, I'm not that big of a dick. <laughs> it's a bath bomb, yeah. in the shape of a toaster. It's because I consistently make that joke in my everyday life, uh, and it's just funny, damn it, just like <laughs> us. Um, but yes, give us your money, please. Uh, we would really appreciate it. It it just allows us to do so much more. Like we don't profit anything. It it just allows us to one. If you are a monthly subscriber, you know it goes into the merch that you get back. Um, it allows us to do bigger and better giveaways. It it just can I say allow? It allows us to just be better which is something my therapist says I need to try more. Um, <laughs> he doesn't. He's very supportive. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, got a little sad for a second. Um, it, but if you don't want to do like a monthly subscription through buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd, uh, which you really should go to buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd, um, you know, we... You can go to allthingsnerdpodcast.com, buy some merch. That's cool. Because uh, then it's just like a one-time thing for you, but you still get something out of it. Because who doesn't like getting stuff for your effort? Yeah. Um, and if you don't want to give us your money, I mean, lame, but totally get it. Uh, just like, share, subscribe. You know, Tell your family, your friends, the people that you think would enjoy this and those that you're unsure about tell them tell them anyway yeah yeah what's the worst they're gonna do not listen oh no (laughs) but we love you and thank you for letting us do this and this has been the all things nerd podcast